Welcome back to Big Clive from Wish.com. I keep on seeing these Amazon commercial multimeters advertised, so I thought I'd take a look at one of them. They're £11, delivered next day, so very, very cheap. They're UL certified, which means they should comply with certain safety standards, but I just don't get them. Now it measures DC voltage, AC voltage, resistance, current, and it's also got the ability to measure batteries. It puts a slight load over the battery to make sure it's working. It's a manually ranged multimeter, which means if you need to measure different ranges of voltage, current, and so on, you need to click the dial round to get the best precision. The thing is these days, auto ranging is cheap, it's easy, it works, it's more intuitive. I don't get why you'd have something that's manually ranged. There's other weird bits about this though. It doesn't have an off position on the dial. It's got a power button. It's a physical toggle switch. Now the thing is, when that's in your toolbox, in your bag, you're gonna end up pressing that. It's gonna get turned on and it's gonna drain the battery. That's not, that's not a great thing, to be honest. Another strange thing is it's got this hold button and that literally just pauses the display, stops the display where it is, stops it moving at all. I really don't get it. So at the moment we're on the 200 volt range, it's telling me we're reading no voltage. If that hold button ends up pressed by mistake, which I could see happening, you could be measuring something with a dangerous level of voltage and it's not gonna register on the display. Oddly, if you toggle the power when it's got the hold button pressed, when it comes back on, it says OL, overload or overrange. I don't really get why that is. It's kind of strange. Another weird bit of functionality is it's got non-contact voltage detection. You'll notice maybe that LED that's flashing at the top there. This is a USB power cable. It's not connected to a load. It's connected to just a USB power supply, five volts, and that's lit up red. So it's detecting the voltage there, but why, why is it triggering at such a low voltage? It seems kind of strange. I really don't agree with these non-contact voltage detectors on things that are sold into the domestic market. They're great for finding when there is a voltage. They're really, really bad for finding when there isn't a voltage. I've seen a lot of people, I mean, I'm tapping it there. Look, I'm tapping it and the light turns on. Anyway, I've seen a lot of people say that because the light isn't turned on, that means that a circuit's isolated. That isn't safe isolation at all. It's quite dangerous, really. Another thing you'll notice, it's only got two terminals. Now this is kind of a bit weird. Say for example, I was measuring a nine volt battery here. There'll be a high impedance between these two terminals. I click it round to 2000 microamps there and suddenly these are nearing a short circuit. I turn it round to resistance there. Again, high impedance. I could connect this across, across a high voltage and there shouldn't be a problem. I turn it round to that range and suddenly they're a short circuit. This is a problem. If you have this on a dangerous voltage, something with high energy like a main socket or something like that, and you change the range, you're going from an open circuit pretty much to a short circuit. And all of that energy is gonna get dissipated inside this multimeter. Not great. Another weird thing about it. So I've taken the screws out of the back of it so I don't have to unscrew them in painful slow motion. It's got a battery compartment here. If we open that up, it takes a 23A 12 volt battery. Good luck finding one of these anywhere, in London even. You have to order these online, they're incredibly rare. It's got a threaded insert on that particular screw. The screw isn't captive, so you can still drop it on the floor. It's not the end of the world. So you could take that screw in and out quite a few times without anything bad happening. It's got the UL mark there, with the particular identity that means you can look it up. It does seem to be genuine and it's got an individual serial number. Again, a, a relatively good sign. The plastics are quite good on it. It's a, it's a relatively decent multimeter in those terms. You open it up and um, we have a fuse. Now it looks ceramic. It might be a high rupture capacity fuse, but it's not very big. It's not very big. We've got a PTC a positive temperature coefficient resistor that will be used to protect the voltage range. Um, we've got an MOV there that will be used to protect against over voltage. So it, it's not terrible in those terms. I've definitely seen worse multimeters. We've got a blob on board for the actual processing there. 
and we've got that non-contact voltage detector and LED at the top there. Not really sure how they work. It doesn't look too bad inside. The quality looks reasonable. But I just don't get this device. Manual ranging. I wouldn't use this on mains voltage personally. I think if you've the, the chance of flipping between 500 volts AC and then turning it around to get through to resistance whilst it's connected to something with a lot of energy is just too high. The non-contact voltage detector just seems stupidly sensitive on the sensitive on the top there. And again, I really don't think they should be on things that are marketed towards domestic users. It doesn't have a continuity test. There's not that beepy noise when you connect the probes together. It can test diodes there. It will put a voltage out and it will tell you what the forward voltage of a diode is. But I don't get why people would want that. It seems like a really, really strange device. Now at the bottom there, it is certified CAT3 300 volts, CAT2 600 volts. So CAT2 is, say, working on an appliance in your house, working on a, a, an amplifier, a, a stand mixer that's broken. And it will go up to 600 volts there. Cat3. Cat3 is distribution. So that's working on sockets. It's working on anything that's downstream of your, um, your incomer into your house. And it goes up to 300 volts. So it should be safe to use on mains. Would I trust it? Yeah, probably not, to be honest. It's just a really weird device. I don't get it. And to be honest, even at 11 quid, I would not buy this thing. Anyway, thanks for watching and um, you'll probably see another crappy multimeter review in a few days time.